Let's say hello to our special guest today, Marie Osmond. How are you, Kevin? Haven't seen you in a while. Marie, doing fabulous. Uh, you must be doing great out in Vegas, huh? It's sold out show after sold out show. Yeah, I did. It was absolutely wonderful. I love the journey that you take fans on because you hit every variety and style of music there is. Oh, you're so cute. Well, you know, we've been around a while. Mm-hmm. I started when I was a fetus. <laughs> that long ago, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on with Marie Osmond today? Well, you know, I um, I followed my intuition. I recorded music as medicine. You know, I really wasn't planning on recording again. But, you know, I, I do love music, and I love doing the shows out here, and I just felt like I was supposed to. Well, the album debuted number 10, mm-hmm. um, you know, Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I was done. The video went viral the first day, and, and I'm like, this is great. This is insane. So we have had tremendous success uh, with, with all of that. Uh, the video is tied around Children's Miracle Network, which I'm one of the founders. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did Baby You're Crazy in the show, which you heard. Mm-hmm. And we have had so much wonderful response, and I love that record. It's, to me, it's the best that country does. It, it, you know, it, it, nobody writes music better than country. And, um, you know, I, I could have gone pop. I could have gone many different directions vocally. I mean, the doors were open because of my brothers. Mm-hmm. But I chose country for the very reason of this song. It's just it, they write the music of your heart, and after 25 years of not seeing my first husband, uh, we ran into each other, went to dinner, fell back in love, and I remarried him. Even wore the same dress. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, what a love story. Is there one song on the album that you recorded based on that experience of getting back together with your ex-husband? That's Baby, You're Crazy. Oh, wow. So this is for him and, and for what you did and went through, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why this, this song is very special to me. Um, and, you know, it says if you, if you think I'll ever walk away, you know, you're crazy. And I think you learn a lot over time. And I think if we would, would know the things we know later in life, I think there'd be a lot more people staying together. And it's so funny at the show. You know it's a meet and greet. Mm-hmm. And I love it. People will come and we say hi. I can't tell you how many people have come up to me and said, we found each other again. You know, we knew each other in high school or you know, we got back together, and, and there's a few people that say, man, I'd never get back with my ex again. But <laughs> mm. I know, right? <laughs> Depending on the situation. Sure. Definitely not my second one, but, but you know what? It, it, it is, it's one of those things that uh, sometimes God is amazing, and that's what the song is about, so I love it. Mm-hmm. We're going to play that in just a moment. Let's rewind a little bit. You break through in country music in the 70s with Paper Roses. And then it seems like you were busy with your television show, other, television show and other projects, but came back to country music in the 80s with big hits like Meet Me in Montana and You're Still New to Me. So where was Marie in, in between that time of Paper Roses and then the big comeback in the early 80s in country music? What was going on there? I was having, like, who's starring now my little corner of the world? And all of a sudden my, my, uh, the management came to me and said, hey, Marie, you're going to do a television show with your brother and you're going to record with him. And so... You know, we had a lot of hits like Leaving It All Up to You, Make the World Go Away, Deep Purple. We had we had a lot of albums. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and if you listen to them now, it's hysterical because it's kind of on trend of country today. But um, that's what I did. And then when the show ended, I went back to what I love doing. That was, you know, because as a kid, you do what you're told, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And and so and we had wonderful success with that show. And I will never complain over that show. It was dubbed into 17 languages. Uh, worldwide, mm-hmm. and uh, and it, I mean, I think that's why we're in Vegas now. People come back to have a little piece of uh, Americana and childhood and whatever. But um, and then I went back, and that's when I recorded "Meet Me in Montana," "Read My Lips," those songs, like you mm-hmm. said, "No Stopping Your Heart." Mm-hmm. And and then um, went through some things in my personal life, and really, I I, I went to Broadway, and I, I I did King and I, and Sound of Music, and and those kinds of things, and. Then I went back to recording again. So, you know, life has been pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And and this new project is just great because you sound like you're just as fresh as ever. You're still having fun. Uh, You're having a great time with these records and performing them live, too. What's your favorite new song to perform live out of everything you put out recently? Well, I love music as medicine. I I think um, I think it it, it just brings everybody starts dancing. I mean, they love the song. Mm -hmm. And I love music that is powerful. And music, there's a a couple symbolic things for me in that song when it was written. Um, Music was my drug of 
choice. I grew up in the 70s, like you said. I was a kid. You know, I was 12 years old when I recorded Paper Roses. And growing up, I had everything presented to me. I mean, you know, seriously, Kevin. Uh, and music was my drug of choice. Mm -hmm. it, it's what kept me high. I didn't need to go to the other alternatives like many people that I grew up with. And, you know, it, it's kind of sad because a lot of the people, my peers, my uh, the, the people that I admire, friends, they're not here anymore because of drugs. Mm -hmm. And so... And to me, music is so powerful. It can take you back to a place in your life where you hear a song and it will document something, you know, special in your life, like, you know, Baby, You're Crazy. So it had to be the first record. And we, it, it's so much fun. The video, you know, I did, I, um, I'm one of the founders of Children's Musical Network. When I visit these hospitals, they only know me as the Nutrisystem lady. <laughs> and so now I did this video, and they're, now they're like, oh, look, it's the alien chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have yet to see the video. They have to dig it up on YouTube. They'll get a kick out of it. And what a great thing you're doing to even raise more awareness for the Children's Miracle Network through this video. Well, mm -hmm. that, that was, that's what I wanted to do. But, but the, the title of it, Music is Medicine, you know, through all the ups and downs. I mean, even, you know, when my son passed away, I recorded, uh, it's the first time I ever sang opera. It was on Oprah. And, uh, you know, she asked me to do it. But Music has been my passion, and you saw the show. I've spent five decades uh, learning and tweaking and loving what the voice can do. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, I mean, my roots are country. It's what I love, and, and it's what I will always enjoy singing, even though I can sing many styles of music, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the show, we used to call that versatility. Now it's called attention deficit disorder. <laughs> <laughs> so true. And you've been so busy over the past year promoting your new album and also involved with other projects. Looking back over the last year, you know, just focusing on the last year alone, uh, point out a couple of highlights from Marie Osmond's past year getting back into the country music business. Well, oh, my goodness. Uh, when the album debuted at 10 on Billboard, I mean, I was like, shut up, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I had no idea. The fans are amazing. Um, highlights. Oh, there's so many. Are you talking career-wise? Yeah, just over the last year alone. Well, career-wise or personal, just some good memories from the past year. I can tell you, I love going back to what they used to call fanfare, mm -hmm. but now it's called, um, what is it called, CMA Fest or something? Yeah, CMA Music Festival. Mm -hmm. And it was so great because um, to go back there to see the fans, you know, because really, to chart at number 10, that was the fans that did that for me. Mm -hmm. and, and it was, they're so amazing. I have the best fans in the world. And, and it's so cute because I have generational fans. You know, a lot of these moms that grew up with me, their 25-year-old daughters are coming to the show, and they're coming to see me, baby, not Donnie. And <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fun. But um, I don't know. You know, I, I thought th there's so many... Oh, so many great things. Um, oh, you know what was really fun is, um, gosh, my brain just went dead. Um, he does the voice. Hello. Everybody knows him. Country. Oh, um, uh, Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton, my brain. <laughs> so this blew my mind when I was back at Music Fest. Blake Shelton um, tweeted out that, or, or I guess he said at that thing that his favorite download off iTunes was Marie Osmond's Music is Medicine album. Wow, what a compliment. That's cool. I know. I was mm -hmm. so blown away. And, and, you know, I had done the talk and I had seen him, but I guess he loved, like, mm -hmm. Montana and, and those songs. And so when he did that, I was like, wow, that is so cool. And that's the beauty of country is people love the music. It doesn't matter who does it. It doesn't matter. Who, it's the music. Mm -hmm. And to have him love that album, was I appreciated that. That was really sweet. We're going to go ahead and play the new single now, Baby, You're Crazy. This is new Marie Osmond.